another video. This is gonna be my first ever review video. And the reason that I'm doing this is because I have been shopping with Winston and Walt for a few years now. I've been buying the big blue molds for a really long time. Well, a couple of years, it's a long time for me. Um, and the reason I started shopping with them is because I couldn't find a UK supplier that made molds the size that I needed at the quality that I needed and a price that I could afford. So um, I've discovered them, they are based in Canada. Um, but it's, the company is run by a lovely lady called July. She is absolutely adorable, the best customer service. I really, really like her. So when I got this massive log splitter and the couple of individual molds, I just knew that I had to do a review because it's gonna be honest and I'll give my honest feedback on everything. Um, but I just know that for a small business, when you have a shout out or a review, it can just really, really help. So um, take, what the, take from this as you will. Um, obviously understand it is my honest review and I will say positives and negatives if there is any about everything that I um, use. And maybe with July as well, if I do say anything that could be constructive criticism, maybe it can be improve, improved in the future. So anyways, let's crack on. We have got two of the Larry molds to review. Um, and one big slab cutter. Now the log slab, I think it's called a log splitter. The log splitter will turn a massive slab of soap into the individual loaves. And mine is measured to be the exact width of our regular soap bars in these molds. Um, now these Larry molds, I will show them up closer in a second. These Larry molds are the exact same size as the really, really popular Amazon molds. I'll get one right now to show you. I've got a dirty one here, oh, straight, off, straight from the washing up, but you all know these moulds, you can get them in different colours, they are really, really cheap, um, but yeah, it's the same size as those, and this log splitter will turn my slab into the lows of the same width. Now, the reason I've got this massive log splitter is because we were using before a single wire cutter, which when I first started out was all I could afford, and it did a good job. The only thing is, is it's really time consuming and over time the wires would start to bend and the width of the of the layers would really, would, would really vary, which means I wasn't getting a consistent size on my soap bars and I was therefore giving customers like too much um, and it wasn't worked into my profit margins. I'm going to show you my old log single wire cutter now. So here is my old, well not old, I'm still gonna, not going to get rid of it, but this is my old single wire cutter, it's from Goodspeed, I found them on Etsy if that helps any of you. Now it is really good, it's got the two feet at the bottom, so all you do is you'll put your, your slab of soap on the table, put this on top and you'll push through, and it's great. But as you can see, over time, the wire does cut through the little shelves on the cutter. And I actually need mine on the shelf, and now it's gone down here. It doesn't seem like much, but when you're doing six loaves from a slab, that becomes quite a lot of soap that's not the right size, if that makes sense. Like you're wasting a lot, or your, bar, your slabs end up becoming too big. So I knew I needed to upgrade, and we've now got the log splitter. I have been using this, hang on. <laughs> Sorry, I can't stop talking. I have been using this a few times um, behind the camera, off like behind the scenes, and on the last couple of YouTube videos, so you may see a slight introduction. But today I'm gonna do another demonstration and give you my honest feedback of how I've been getting on. And I have messaged July for some tips and tricks and I'll share those with you as well. Anyways, shall we crack on? <laughs> Ignore the soap residue, but just so you can see, this is my normal like Amazon mold compared to the Larry mold. I believe that July does make a longer version of this, which I think makes 20 bars, and it's called the Mandy mold, I'm pretty sure. Same width, but longer, I believe. Um, but yeah, this is what matches the ones that we currently make. And I've got another one over here of one of our naked soap bars. We'll cut this later on, and I'll give you my review as we go through. Here is the big log splitter up close and the big slab of patchouli and orange soap bars that we're gonna be cutting today. Here's the little silicon indent. Everything is made by Winston and Waltz. I just love this company so much. I think you really just fall in love with a person, don't you? Like you you know when they say you buy from people, I love buying from Winston and Walt because I just I just really like July. Anyways, let's crack on. Okay, so I'm going to push the log splitter out the way for now. And I'm gonna talk about the um, Larry molds. So, um, I actually made, a, well, you know, made a salt soap in one of these and a normal soap. The reason I did one of each is because 
Our different soaps behave differently. So with a salt soap, they get really hard and really, really hot. And we have to cut them up after about, it could be half an hour to about two hours. Um, and it can get really stressful when we're making a lot of soap because the harder it gets, the harder it is to get out of the mold. Now, I've got to say, these molds are the best molds for salt soaps because no matter how hard this gets, um, you can always just take off the sides and get it out. I'll show you what I've had to do to my Amazon molds um, to make my job easier, just a moment. So with the heat of the soap as it's in the mold and it's heating up, it would create a kind of vacuum and we'd really, really struggle to get the soaps out of the mold. Break, I'll be breaking fingernails, the soaps would often I might not be able to get out at all. Um, and with, with salt soaps, when they get too hard, you cannot cut them. It's kind of like wasted soap. So, I got my brother a couple of years ago now to make some holes. I'll oh, come around. To make some holes in the bottom of these log, um, these Amazon molds. And this has worked a treat. We now don't have any issues getting the soaps out of the mold. Um, it's really, really straightforward. However, when the soap is hot, it's always a little bit, you have to like <laughs> slam it down. So in terms of a salt soap, these Larry molds are the best um, in, in terms of like getting out the mold. The only thing is, so, I don't know if I've worded that very well. These are the best in terms of get, yeah, getting the soap out the mold, out of the supporting mold, should we call it? I'm not too sure what the terminology would be. Um, however, with a salt soap, because they get it's really hard to explain without having a demonstration. So with salt soaps, timing is really, really important. So we quite often have but like loads and loads and loads and loads of moulds to, to cut within a really short space of time. So some of them have been sat longer. They're really hard to, they're, they're actually formed really hard throughout the, the slab, the, the, the loaf. And I can quite easily bend my mould back and get it out. However, some of them, it's hard in the middle, but a little bit softer on the edges. And with those ones, I need to get it out because I've got loads more to cut. Um, and what can quite happen, even with these um, Amazon molds, as you can see with this one, that's left as a residue, is when you push it out, it does leave little bits of soap behind. And the only thing with these Larry molds is because they are so like dense or so firm, you don't have as much movability to really pop it out. And I do fear that with a slightly softer salt soap, they'll be harder to get out. These would be really good if I was doing a small batch of soaps in the day and that was that. So yeah, salt soaps, there's, there's fours, and, fours and against for both of the moulds. Um, but yeah, these, these are really, really good. I love that you can just get it straight out and it would speed the process up. Um, and maybe what I could do actually, thinking on my feet, is I could actually let the soaps get fairly hard, get them out until they're fully hardened to the ends, but not too hard that I can't cut, and then pop it out. I'm sure with practice we could find a good knack to it. Um, but yeah, either or, there's pros and benefits for, benefits for both. At the end of the day, salt soaps are just really bloody hard to make. Um, and it really does take a lot of practice to get the, the knack of it. Right, in terms of a regular soap bar, I cannot see any issues on the, on the get-go. I haven't cut one yet, we're going to do it right now. Um, but yeah, going in the mould perfect. I love that I can actually put the soap the where is it? I love that you can actually put the roof like of the mold on the top. Um, this is really good because it traps the heat in and if you're looking to gel your soaps, make it go through gel phase, this would really, really help. Um, gone were the days that I had to put cardboard on the top and then the cardboard touched the soap and go really greasy and horrible. Um, I've now got this, so I love that. And again, I just love how easy the whole mold is to assemble. You can pull them out. It's even got the handles on the side. Um, it's even got a ruler. I'll, I'll come closer. It's even got a ruler on the top of the lid, which is amazing if you want to do embeds or a nice pattern. It's just these little touches. It just really goes to show how much July understands about soap and understands what her audience wants, her customers want. So yeah, I really like this mold. Okay, shall we cut it into bars and we'll see how easy it is to get out. Okay, so, um, shall I bring you guys closer? Okay, I hope this is close enough. So, let's have a go at getting out of the mould. Here is, here is the whole soap. This is one of our naked soap bars. It's colour and fragrance free. I'm just going to pop it the edges. I did force this through gel phase, so it is quite hard. It's not going to be soft to get out or anything. Now, I always sort of push it from the bottom. Yes! Oh my gosh! I could feel the suction just go. Wow! That was really easy. 
Oh my god. Yeah, perfect, no problems at all. And as you can see, there's no residue either. That's actually really good. Um, if I had a softer recipe, then that would have been a lot harder to get out. But because this has got this had gone through gel phase, it's a really hard bar. That was no problem getting out. Right, let's cut this up like I normally would. Um, this isn't really a review of the of the <laughs> of the equipment, but I'm gonna cut it on the camera anyway, and we'll put it on the curing shelves. A soap cutter is from Soap Cutter Pro. Here's the bars, plain and simple. You can see where the gel phase has gone like most of the way to the edge. Okay, now it is time for the mega log splitter. So this is the end that you want nearer you because it's even got a little gap here for your fingers. Um, so the only thing I've found with this from like previous attempts of using it is it does slide around. It's kind of made for if you have a bit on your back bench. Um, so when I was speaking to July, she said that you can either buy like a big cardboard sheet type thing to put across your whole table and it won't move or get those like little rubber sticker type things um i don't know what you call them but anyway like you know those rubber stickers oh i cannot think of the word but put them on the bottom of the feet and it won't move so much or what she's told me to do i'll see if i can get the camera angle okay is to put the feet which are only little i don't know if you can see that they're just little, put them against the bench and push against it. So I'm gonna try that today because it's not, I don't want this to be one of those tasks where I always have to have someone helping me. So we're gonna put that on the edge, end of the bench, pull this out um, and we're gonna put the soap on. Okay, right, pop this on the edge. That's okay, I'll come back to that in a minute, but that's one of the only downsides to this. Right, we're gonna push it through, are you ready? So I'm gonna hold the top push it through my little knack is to hold the edges and push it with my tummy now she does advise that you wear goggles for this in case the wires snap that's always a possibility um i forgot to put mine on right now but i'm just gonna look away instead oh god the soap is gelled nicely oh god it is a workout guys it's a lot of soap and there we go now what i'm gonna do is put it back on the table show you guys the finished results take one from the inside and here is the patchouli and orange soap how gorgeous and then these bars are just ready now to be cut on this on the multi-wire cutter how easy was that 
That was so good, wasn't it? Okay, I've definitely got better at that with practice. It's like anything, any piece of new equipment. It's always, it always takes a little while to find your rhythm with it. Um, so, I love this. This is going to speed up, and it is speeding up, our entire process of cutting um, and making soaps. Like, we make a lot of soap, we're a soap company. Um, so this has already started to speed up our entire process. One of the things that I would like to improve if July was to ever redesign this, um, and by the way, I haven't seen anyone else that makes these cutters do the same thing, so um, do, do this either. So it's, it's just a general tip, which would be amazing. With the soaps, what I don't like is how the edges, I'll come round, it's how the edges just show the outside of the soap. What I would love is if we could take a thin slice off this edge, so then the, both sides of these outside pieces look exactly the same or like it shows the raw design. And again, I haven't seen any other multi-wire cutter be able to do that either. So it's just a general, a general thing. Um, what I used to do before with the big slab mold is I would put it through my single wire cutter um, at a different height to take off like a bacon size slice off either end. And yes, I would only be able to get five um, loaves out rather than six um, and then like one fat like thin strip le left over but I really liked it because the soaps did have a nice design throughout so that's that but that isn't about the cutter I think I think that could also translate into the mold as well like if it was just a little bit wider so then you could maybe have like two more wires on here and when you push it through it, it takes off like a thin layer on each end that would be perfect but again I'm aware that's not I don't think anyone else does that so um, you know it's not one of those things you probably would have thought about but um, another thing I think could be improved slightly is maybe being able to extend the feet on the cutter um, where it goes against the edge of the table um, just because it is quite heavy and like if someone wasn't as strong as me not that, I'm, not that I can lift a lot of weights but if someone wasn't as strong as me they might actually really struggle to push that through without like, and like get it on the edge of the table safely um, but again I don't know how you'd improve that off the top of my head it's not really my expertise but some way of making it a little bit safe oh safe is not the word because it is safe um, sturdier, sturdier, a little bit sturdier on the table would be amazing. Maybe it's built in, maybe it comes with a rollout mat, I don't know. Um, maybe the rollout mat goes on there and then down, down the side of the table and you push against that. I don't know. Um, if you guys watching this have any ideas, spread your ideas because, you know, it's again, it's an amazing piece of equipment. It's just little things that I just would think would be, make it in 10, an absolute 20 out of 10. Um, what else? What I do love, again, I love the whole thing as a, as a whole. What I do love is that she's put a little reminder on the front here um, about wearing goggles. Um, uh, so it says, keep your face away from the cutter when tightening or replacing. Wires can break under tension. I love that. I love that. Even as an experienced soap maker, it's one of those things that you could forget as you get more comfortable just using wire cutters all the time. That's easily to easy to forget, and it's a big dangerous thing that could happen if it does happen. So I love that. Um, what another thing that I love is that you can detach the cutter, so you can pull out these little pegs, pull the whole thing out, and it's really easy to take the whole thing out and wash it up. I love that. It's, it's these little things. It's really, really thought through. Another really small detail that I didn't understand at first, but I get now, is that at the front of this cutter is this, and that is her. It's her logo. I love that. It's just, it's just so well thought through. Um, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. Um, right. Was there anything else I need to say about this? I just really, really like it. I love it so much. I can't even put into words how much quicker this has made our whole process and of course time is money especially when you're hiring a team of people like I need people to be as efficient as possible because it does save us money you know um, so this has helped tremendously um, so you absolutely love it I'm trying to think if there's anything else I haven't said that I wanted to say oh okay another thing and one other thing and it's really really like not a big deal but you know when I'm pushing it, and this probably is just because I haven't found my knack to how I'm doing this just yet, but the way that I've been doing it is I've been pushing it against the edge of the table, either holding onto these two bits or hold, as you would hold onto the middle bit. Now this middle bit, because it is a thin piece, it isn't actually 
I don't think it's going to be sturdy long term if I keep on pushing on it because it is plastic. Now it has got this metal piece here which is very very secure but I don't know whether it needs like another metal bit on the other side maybe to like keep it extra straight and then you really can push against it. But again it might just be that over time I do just find a different way of holding it and pushing it through. So not a big deal, it's not the be all or end all. I've only had a you know probably about 10 goes at using this now so I'm not um, I've not had heaps of practice but those are just my first th few thoughts but overall I absolutely love it I would recommend buying it if you're looking to upgrade your processes and speed things up you need this um, and I think that she do, will do dif yeah she does do different dimen different measurements depending on what size you need as well so there is also that oh yeah what I was gonna say earlier I knew there was something so I don't again I don't know whether this is just me needing more practice or if it's something that could be improved but you know when I want to put my slab on the on the cutter you do have to sort of like lob it on there and push it into place and there's not actually much room for maneuver so I don't know whether it needs to be a bit bigger just to allow room to put it on and push it into place because sometimes when I've had softer batches because again we don't use palm oil in our soap so they can be quite soft and um, when they're first made I don't know whether it needs to be a, bit, bit, a little bit bigger so you've got space to put it on and then move it into place because sometimes I do end up catching it on the, on the edges and it condenses it even more. But again, maybe with practice I just won't do that. So those are my first initial honest, honest thoughts. Um, I, again, I absolutely love this. I would highly recommend buying it if you're looking to upgrade your processes. Um, but yeah, what are your thoughts? Let me know below. And July, if you're watching this, thank you for just being a bubbly, kind, friendly person. Um, and what I love as well about July is that you can easily just DM her with any questions and she's there to help and she really, really does care. Um, I've never met her in person. I've never spoke to her on voice note. It's just over a message. And I don't know, she just treats you like a, she really cares about customer feedback and customer experience. So. That is my thought on the mould. Let's do a debrief. I said I was going to do a debrief, but I've kind of done it. Um, that's all I've got to say on everything, to be honest. Um, if you have any questions, pop them below. I can always do another video or answer in the comments, or I can ask July to have a look at the comments and answer for herself. Um, but overall, if you want to check these guys out, I absolutely love them. They're called Winston and Walt, Winston and Walter. Uh, they're based in Canada. Um, I'll put the little tags in the comments below their website and everything if I can. Um, I don't know if I can actually put a website in the description, but if I can't, I'll I'll do what, I'll put what I can down below. Um, and yeah, that's all I've got to say. Thank you so much for watching this review. If you want to see me review anything else, if you've enjoyed this, please let me know. I'll always do my honest review. Um, and that's it. Have a fabulous day. Make sure you're, you've liked this, you're subscribing, and I'll see you next week for another video.